What's up guys, Maritime Spook here, and uh, sorry we're not out in the uh, bush, but uh, I'm actually was sp supposed to be working, I thought, guys, and I actually don't have to work, it looks like. Maybe not, I may end up getting a call in 10 minutes to say not, but uh, don't you gotta love working sometimes, guys. You get with people, if their life gets thrown in turmoil, and there's only a couple of you working the shift, then you're kind of stuck, and that's happened to me many, many times, guys, with my job. There's usually only two of us that work the same, you know, gambit of stuff. So if it ends up that person can't work, then old Spook here ends up working seven days a week, two shifts a day. So that's and that's kind of what I've been doing, guys. So uh, same with the giveaway. I wish, guys, I had been able to go out and do it somewhere beautiful and take some beautiful pictures and, you know, show you something. But... Uh, I just figured, hey, you know, somebody needs that knife instead of just sitting here. It needed to be shipped out to somebody that's going to enjoy it. And that's what happened. So, congratulations to Adventure Time Outdoors. It took my son and I like two and a half hours to cut out all the little names and figure out who did a VR and watched all the things. So, everybody that did it, guys, you got uh, attention to detail um, to find out who you were. Everybody that entered uh, got a chance and the luck of the draw had it a guy that did a vr who had three uh names in the pot one so you know congratulations to him and uh you know it was cool to get to meet him too as well we've commented a couple times back and forth but i didn't really know him but now i'll be uh, staying tuned more on his channel and i think he'll be staying tuned more on uh you know the maritime spook channel so anyway guys what this video is about is uh since it's a rainy crappy day i was just in here and it's gonna kind of hard to see in the sheath form but when I take it out, you should be able to. And what this is, guys, is a Becker BK9. Now, um, I know Beckers, they've been around for a while. But uh, Old Spook here is kind of, I've switched my, you know, collection of knives around quite a bit, guys, over the last few years. And there's stuff that interests me. And then if I can get a hold of a couple items, then I'll check them out. And lately, a couple of knives that I've been, uh, been wanting to check out are stuff that, uh people use a lot in the jungle uh, like the prang i got uh, i've got another machete um and this actually came from uh, the same fella i got the uh world war ii machete from um he his son came across three of these that are pretty well brand new two of them are brand new one of them was used a bit uh the bk9 here that i have uh, bk7 and the bk2 so these are uh, my first experience with it so far guys and i've just sort of handled it and this one is like brand new I don't think that the guy used it at all. I think, to be honest with you, the way the sheath and everything was set up, guys, I believe that he had these hanging on the wall. He had a BK9, a BK7, and the BK2 had, looks like it has a decent amount of use. So I believe he used the smaller, more manageable knife, you know, for tasks, and these two sort of just sat on the wall. So they ended up getting put into a trade for, you know, some car parts, and then down the road, you know, old spook here uh, ended up going to be picking this one up. But, uh, very very large knife but i'll tell you guys for as large as this thing is it's not unwieldy and that is what sets these apart now i've watched a lot of videos on becker's guys i have you know a, a little bit of knowledge to them it's crow van 1095 steel uh, it's got a skull crusher here at the back you know attitude adjuster or skull crusher not only for whacking skulls but you know if you had to break something up or break into you know break a window you could even use the knife when it's in the sheath you know, if you bend this back and just, you could use it to smash into something without, uh, you know, having the blade kicking off back around you. So just very useful. Uh, the sheath's going to be kind of hard because we're inside here, guys. But uh, it has this Velcro and it pops up and it came with some cordage. So, I mean, even the cord, the original cord that came with the knife is still in here. And I found that to be the original, um, which is very cool. It even has the same little black elastic that would come with it You know if you bought it from wherever you bought it from so it's got this here uh, as a pocket But also I don't know if you'll be able to see but it, in here is also a spot for a k-bar uh, Remora so it actually will fit a small knife. I tried a couple other knives. It didn't fit that great I may down the road get a remora and stick it in there but most likely this is going to have some kind of a little fishing kit or first aid or a combination of fire starting or whatever and uh, I may not even bother putting a knife, but it has an option there to slide a knife. You know, I mean, it has a hard plastic spot for a knife to go in there, which would be the remora. So, I like these nylon sheaths, guys. Some people don't. It's just got a large belt loop there, and it's got a couple attachments uh, going down this way. I don't know how it's fastened. Um, 
It's only got the one snap, but it holds it in there enough. And the thing with it, as heavy it is, guys, when it's on your belt, that's not going to come out of there because it's so heavy. Now, even flipped upside down with that retention of the uh, buckle snap, it's not going to come out. So, just a really cool package. Very, very large knife, guys. And the thing why this appealed to me when my buddy said that he had a few of them and I wanted the larger one. is, As I said, I've got an interest in stuff that is used, you know, in the jungle. And I actually read a little uh, thing. You know a few years ago in a tactical type magazine one day and uh actually at a pharmacy and they were talking about a fella had you know being in the jungle and things he did and you know it didn't go into detail about this knife but this is what the guy had strapped on his side was a bk9 um you know and he was building shelters with it and he had said he didn't go into huge detail of what the knife was but he said this is why i carry a larger knife in the jungle because i can do so much with it you know, it doubles as my machete, as it doubles as, you know, he's doing food prep and stuff like that. So he says, I just carry a larger knife instead of a big machete, which could make sense to me quite a bit. You could do quite a bit with one of these. Um, as far as the specs go, guys, I will get you the specs on this. This is just sort of a quick look at it. But uh, it's got some jimping up top. One thing I do know about Beckers, and it's not a big drawback to me, is that if you want to be able to strike any ferro rod off them, guys, you're going to have to grind them down. Um, it's rounded to make it easier for the baton and whatnot. And when these were designed by Ethan Becker, um, that was the, the thing in mind. Uh, it sort of has this false wedge thing that's really cool for penetrating because it is what they call a combat knife as well. But uh, my purposes, like I say, will be more like a large bushcraft sort of knife. So, I mean, it's, you're not going to fire any sparks off of this, but that's fine. It's such a large knife, you can have a dedicated, you know, spark spark uh, mechanism you know that doesn't have to do with this so it's got bribery handles here guys um just very nicely done it's very ergonomic i mean they ethan becker really knew what he was doing and if you don't know who that is guys look it up ethan becker designed these for k-bar and k-bar manufactured them in their 1095 crow van steel and uh but ethan becker who has been designing knives for decades uh was the one that you know designed this series of you know bk knives you know becker becker k-bar knives so but uh, anyway, guys, I just want to share that with you. But uh, stay, st stay tuned. I got some cool products coming from a couple places, guys. Um, I've got some very, very cool eyewear coming in, which is something different. And I also have uh, a knife from Sweden that will be here after a little bit. I just cannot wait to share with you guys. Very cool, innovative product from Sweden. So anyway, guys, stay safe. Just wanted to show you this BK9. Quick look. And, uh, you know, stay safe. Keep a stick on the ice, guys. And uh, stay tuned because I got some cool stuff coming up. That's the Becker BK9, and I just want to give you a little quick look of uh, this beast. And we'll get out and use it here soon, and, uh, you know, give you my thoughts then after that. Take care, easy guys.